guys, so today I am filming a video that was requested just a couple times. I don't remember the exact names of people who requested it, but thank you so much for actually giving me a request to do. And that is my everyday hair care, hair routine type video. I thought I would start with what's going on with my hair color. I used to go to this one salon and the woman bleached my hair so bad it looked like I had hay on my head. And then I started to go to this salon in Manhattan and I was getting my hair colored there for about... I would say two years. Then my hairstylist actually this December was the last time I got my hair dyed by her because she moved and I didn't feel like dealing with falling in love with a new hairdresser. <laughs> so I kind of just stopped dyeing my hair if you can see. Here is basically my natural color since about last December. I used to get full head highlights so I can't tell you the exact color that my hair is. It's just bleach on blonde hair. <laughs> I think the last time I got it done, I believe I told her I wanted her to bring in some low lights also because I kind of knew that I was going to stop dyeing my hair for at least a little while, so I wanted to kind of ombre it a little bit. It's still, like, I mean, to me, it doesn't feel ombre yet exactly, but it's getting there. That's my hair color story. I don't know if I like it yet or not, I might have like a panic and go and get my hair bleached again because it's finally getting to that point where I notice that it's not blonde anymore. My hair is always complimented on how healthy it looks and I really don't know what to credit that to because I mean I was getting a bleach and I really, I promise, I do not take the best care of my hair. I really should. It's lucky I guess. I brought all my products that I do use on it which is really not that many and they're all, I think they're all drugstore. Yeah they're all drugstore. Another thing is I have a very dry scalp. Um, TMI, gross. So I've been trying to find a shampoo and conditioner system that would kind of hydrate my scalp and my hair. I went to a skin doctor and they gave me medicated shampoo. Worked for a little while. I never bought a refill. I've tried all these different systems from different beauty like stores and stuff and nothing, nothing works. But the last time I was in Target, I came across the Tresemme Expert Selection Renewal Hair and Scalp Nourish and Renew Shampoo and Conditioner, the, the blue text ones. It's a system for scalp care and beautiful hair with tea tree extract and sunflower seed oil. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. The line also has a deeply nourish and renew conditioning mask, which you're supposed to use, I believe, two or three times a week. And then it also has this lightly nourish and renew leave-in conditioning spray which I just spray onto my hair afterwards even though my hair is not my main concern it's mostly my scalp. I feel like it's helping a little bit and it smells nice and it's Tresemme and it's cheap and it's fine. I wash my hair about I'd say three times a week. I use dry shampoo other days of the week because I do go to the gym pretty much five to six days a week and I'm a sweaty person. <laughs> so my favorite dry shampoo as everyone else on YouTube is Batiste, specifically the Sassy and Daring Wild one, like everyone else. Other than this Tresemme deep conditioning mask, I also use the It's a 10. It's alright. It's basically the only one I use. It works. And I also have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In for blondes, and I alternate between these two. Sometimes I use both. I really don't care. Just make sure not to get it on the like, roots. Just spritz them through, massage them through. Ever since I got myself a Tangle Teaser, my life has gotten so much easier. When you have two feet of hair and it's bleached and it's all gross after you wash it, you can't really brush it right after. Tangle Teaser? I thought this was all hype and for no reason. No, this thing is amazing. I I think this is the travel size because it comes with this little clip thing so you can just throw it in your bag and it's, I don't know, more compact. I use that to get rid of tangles before I do my hair. Like, you see these waves? My hair used to be naturally very wavy and curly, but now that it's so long and heavy, it kind of needs a little bit of assistance. What I do, basically separate it in half, half on each side, and I just make two braids. That's it. I mean, I'll demonstrate one of the braids, sort of, now on my dry hair. You don't want to do it on dry hair unless you want to put in a lot of product, which I try not to. I basically just make sure that the braid is super tight on top where the pieces of my hair are going to be the thickest and so that the waviness kind of goes up as high as it can. And then I get looser and looser with my twists as I get down to the bottom. 
and my hair, I think I already said, it should be damp when you're doing this so that it kind of presses together and stays like that. I don't know. And then I would tie it at the bottom and then I kind of like loosen it up a little bit so that the waves are kind of the same width at the top and the bottom. And then I go to sleep with my hair in these two big braids and I look like Pippi Longstocking every single night. It's kind of funny. It also helps me not get tangles in my hair. I wake up and it's tangle free and I just take out my braids and I have these beachy waves and it looks completely natural, I would say. It's no heat and it's so easy. I know some people like take a piece of hair and they like twist it or something and they like leave it up there. That is way too much work for me. Two braids, in and out, done. If I want like a tighter curl in my hair, I will do a four strand braid, which I'm not going to demonstrate right now because it takes too much concentration. Well, sort of. I'm still getting the hang of it. That's really all there is to it, to my hair. I told you guys it's not going to be that exciting. It's really basic. I should probably take better care of my hair and I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to try out some better products. Leave me in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions of a nice hydrating for your scalp and hair treatment, shampoo, conditioner, anything that you use in your hair that makes your hair super healthy looking. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any other suggestions or videos you want to see me do, please do leave it in the comments down below. I love having suggestions to work with because, you know, it's not all about me. I want this to be a community type thing. That's all I have for you today. Please do like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!